أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Peace be upon you all. السلام الله عليكم ورحمته وبركاته. All my dear students, Shah and Maika, secondary schools. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I hope you are well. Thank you so much for coming today with new lesson in your mega goal to unit number two, exercise number eight, still for page number 25, work for page number 14. Wishful thinking. This unit is titled Ender. Wishful thinking. Reading exercise. Page 26. Today is 14 of February. Just a moment. Welcome back with the first lesson in our fifth week. This is from Shai Marika Spindle Skills with Mr. Abu Salah. Unit number two, Mega Goal Two. Exercise number eight, page number 26, wishful thinking. Reading exercise. We have finished most of our unit last week. And we had some conversation, language in the text, listening, pronunciation, grammar, and what else? Listening and discussing, checking points, spare work. And today, inshallah, we will take a new lesson entitled Reading. Professor Marcus Spender Skills. Welcome back. Mega goal two. Okay. Let's go. This exercise is talking about a winning money as a prize. Could bring the winner problems? Maybe. Do you agree or disagree? This is our section today. In this case, or in this text, give reasons. Making a list of problems you think might be mentioned in the article below. Then scan the article and see if it is mentioned the same problem. This text is entitled money, a blessing or a problem. What does it mean? A blessing, hal hiya a blessing gana or a problem nikma. Okay, are you ready for listening? Yes, sister. Okay, I will play my audio after counting. Assalamu alaikum. Five. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning. After counting from five to one. So take care, open your talk in the same page, 26. I listen carefully to the text to understand them. During the listening, please underline the difficult words. Underline the difficult words. If you face in difficult words, idioms, phrases, and so on, underline and ask me after finishing the reading. So let's go to the reading. Listening first. Five, four, three, two, what? Sorry, I want to start again.
الاستاذ اذا كنت مشغل المقطع ترى ما في صوت سوري يا شباب ما في صوت يا استاذ ما في صوت اوكي وات اباوت ناو ناو يو كان لسن شباب ناو يو كان لسن friends and neighbors and can eventually end in is it okay now okay friends are beginning money a blessing or a problem there's a great deal of truth in the saying a fool and his money are soon parted for some people winning millions is the answer to their problems but the reality is more like a nightmare for others The money can strain relationships with family, friends, and neighbors, and can eventually end in bankruptcy. It's often very hard for a winner to handle the pressure and all those millions. Most prize winners are not used to having money and making financial decisions. They are vulnerable and become easy prey to people who want to take advantage of them. Winners may lose large sums on investments they know nothing about, or they might go in with a partner who may not know how to run a business. William Bud Post won 16... Okay, we will stop at this point. I will complete after understanding what we listened before in the first text. There's a great deal of truth. A great deal of truth. What does it mean? Truth, yes, Shabab. Raise your hand, please. Ms. Daqiyya, well done. What's your name? Omar? Omar. Or Walid? Yes. Omar Tawfiq. Okay, thank Hello. you, Omar. Well done. Well done, Yawal. Omar Saeed al -Amir. Thank you for your participating many times with us. And the second one is winning millions is the answer to their problem. Winning. What's the meaning of winning? What's the meaning of winning, ya shabab? Al-fawz, it's tough. Al-fawz, winning means gaining, gain. Right? Okay. Real tea. Salaam. Alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, Jameel. Welcome back. Real tea. Wallah, ma'alay. Ma'alay, shi astad, al-manabbih ma'adak, Wallah. It's okay, Jameel. I'll accept your excuse. Real tea means, what's your real tea? The truth. Waka. Haqiqa. Relationships, Alakat. Alakat. eventually, eventually, does it mean eventually end in bankruptcy? Is there, can you raise your hand please? Or I will select the students randomly. Yes, she said, Nail, Nail Sharif, you asked me before for participation. Today I cannot see you. Omar Said. Yes, Omar, what's your question? No, no, I the question. I should find out for yourself. Okay, just a moment. Okay, Shabbat, let's go to the second part. $2 million. I wish it never happened. It was totally a nightmare, says Post. He tried to help his family, but things didn't work out. A brother was arrested for trying to kill him, hoping to inherit part of the money. Post went into a car business and a restaurant with his children, but the two ventures were failures. He eventually went broke, and now he lives on $450 a month and food stamps. For many people, sudden money can cause more than financial disaster. The most notorious case of poor use of prize money in recent times is that of Michael Carroll, who won 9.7 million pounds, 17.1 million dollars, at the age of 20. Michael spent almost his entire fortune in 18 months on four homes, a holiday villa in Spain, 
two convertible BMWs, and two Mercedes-Benz cars, several quad bikes, and a stake in a football team. Sometimes money can make people insane, but that isn't the case with Michael Carroll. He was a nuisance before and decided to continue being a nuisance. Michael has been in constant trouble with the law and has paid thousands of dollars in fines for vandalism. Reports say that he is nearly broke. But not everyone is like Michael and Bud. Bob Bradley, an 83-year-old great-grandfather, won $6.17 million in May 2006. Besides giving a huge amount to children's charities, Mr. Bradley has spent his fortune helping to make the dreams of his family and friends come true. He has rejected flashy cars, expensive vacations, and a move to a luxury mansion in favor of handing out his jackpot to others. He said, I haven't kept any money for myself. I can just give my family all they ever wanted. I've had my life more or less, so this win is for their benefit. So, if you ever win a big prize, seek an advisory team to help you make important financial decisions and a good psychiatrist to help you keep your sanity. Okay, Shema, now we have finished the listening. Now it's time for reading. So I will check who's there, who's raising his hand, Omar Saeed Ramiri only. Okay, I will start with Omar. Okay, Omar, right. do you know what Don't. you'll do? You read the first paragraph from money until the million, right? I will right. check which part like this. Okay, Omar, go ahead. There is a great deal of truth in the saying a fool uh, and his money are soon poor parted for some people. Winning millions is the answer to their uh, problems. The answer, not answer, answer, answer. To, the, to their problems, uh, but uh, the, real, the, re the reality yeah. is uh, more like uh, a nightmare for others. Uh, the money nightmare. can nightmare, More. nightmare for uh, others, nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nights more uh, for others, the money can uh, straying, uh, straying, uh, relationships, relationships uh, with the family, friends, and uh, neighbors, and can even, even eventually, yeah, uh, end in bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. Bankru bankruptcy. What does this uh, word mean, uh, Omar? Bankruptcy. Hmm? You know it or not? Okay, anybody know? Bankruptcy. And if less. Okay. It's often uh, very hard for a, for a winner to uh, handle uh, the pro the person Pressure, 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 and all those millions. And all these millions. Losing your money, bankruptcy. So, according to this, this paragraph, what, the, uh, what is your opinion? Money is a blessing or a problem? Hmm, what's your opinion? I'm asking you. Is it a blessing mm -hmm. or a problem? Hello, man, Nikma, and Nyama. Okay, and I'll give you the share. Bad, Samia, Kemi, Illness. Okay, sure. The second one, second paragraph, who's there? Who's there? Nobody raise his hand to read? Nobody there? Where is Ahmed Faisal, Ahmed Halwani, Jamil, Muhammad Al-Bishi, Hamad Salim al Amiri, Yusuf Anas? 23 students there. Shabab? Nayib, yes, yeah, Nayib. Go ahead, the second paragraph. The second paragraph in it, okay? Yeah, I will show you which one. As this one. Yeah, this part, please. 
Go ahead. And his money are so important for some people winning millions in the answer to their problems. But the but the reality is more like a nightmare for others. Uh, the money can mm -hmm. strain uh, relationship uh, chips with family, mm -hmm. with family friends, and uh, neighbors, and can even eventually 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 uh, end in yeah. In bank, uh, banker uh, apps, oh, it's often banker or opsy, it's often very ha hard for winner, for a winner to handle the pressure and all the uh, all those millions. Mm -hmm. Most prize winners are not used to having having more money and making financial decisions. They yeah. are uh, vulnerable and become easy prey to people who want to take advantage of them. Winners uh, may lose large sums on uh, investments. 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 Lose large they know. sums in investments. Mabalag maliya kabira fi investments. Is this matter? Okay, go ahead. They know nothing about or they might go, go in with a partner who may uh, not know how to run a business. Okay, thank you. Who's there? The first paragraph, this one. The first paragraph is about. Try to read it. Who's there from our participants? Nail, Walid, Nail, Nail, okay, already Ahmed Halwani. Mojood is that Nail. Nail Sharif, okay. I'm talking about Nail, not Nail. Okay, oh. Nail, you want to read? Can you read? Seven, great, great, give me a sir. Okay, Nail, it's okay, you are coming. I'm not. Oh, Sad Mani Labs in Nabara, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Next time, inshallah. Khaled Zajani, Jamil Badi. Where are you today? Khaled Zajani. Go ahead, Jamil. Where are you today? Where are you today? Where are you today? Where are you today? William Bud post won 16.2 million. I wish it never happened. It was totally a nightmare. Says post, he tried to help his family, but things didn't work out. A brother was arrested for trying to kill him, hoping to inherit part of, uh, of the money. Yeah. Post went into a car biz uh, business and the restaurant with his uh, children. But uh, the two ventures, ventures were failures. He eventually went broke and now he lives on four foot. Four hundred fifty dollar a month and food stamps. Thank you so much for your good pronunciation and reading. Thanks a lot. Who's there? Okay, sure. I think it's enough today. Now we will go to the second part. What is there? Reading. In his own words, write how the different prize winners handle their fortune. The first one, Pat Host. The second one, Michael Carroll. The third one, Bob Bradley. How does everybody? Deal with this case. The first one, for post. Do you have any answer? Who's there, Shabab? Muhammad Abdullah Al Qurashi. News, Yusuf Anas. Please answer me. Where is Muhammad Abdullah Al Qurashi and Yusuf Anas? The first one, for post. Try. To help his family. So the first person tried to help his family. But 
His brother tried to kill him. Unfortunately, and this is very bad. He invested money in persons, but they failed. قام باستثمار المال ولكن فيل خسر. And his brother tried to kill him. حاول أخيه أن يقتل. So this is the first one. ولي التوفيق الأميري. وليد. يا وليد. Please answer me. ولي التوفيق. وليد وليد يا شباب. Okay. Today will this action. Ahmed Halwani. Number two, Mitchell Carroll. What happened with him? He spent his fortune in 18 months. He bought things like a Mercedes and a Villa de Spain. He was in trouble. Why? With the law and paid fines. Yusuf Anas, it's okay, Yusuf, I'm asking you to read. Number three, Pope Paradni, the third person in our reading text today. He gave huge amounts of money. To whom? To charity, al-jamiyat al-khairiya. He didn't buy things for himself. He didn't buy anything for himself. He gave the money to make the dreams of his family. And friends come true. Okay? Okay, sure. Number C. Now, it's a time for making a list of the most common problems experienced by the prize winner. Compare your answers with a partner. So, let's see this one. What can you see in the picture here? Two things. The most main two things is everybody getting to have in his life, in the future. كل شخص يطمح الشباب to have a villa, a good house, a car. Right? Right, الشباب or not? Yeah, I think it's right. What about your opinion? Notice answer, why? Uh, well, it's a blessing, yes, Tab. Sorry, again, can you repeat it? Uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Now, in this case, it's a blessing. So everybody like it. Okay. We have finished now our student book. Let's go to our work book. So let me see it. Which exercise was up there? Which exercise, Shabab? Let me see which page. Page number 15, reading, right? We have finished 15, exercise G and now we are going to each exercise. Okay, Shabbat, take care. Read, reading a text also. So, before reading is read, I want to say something. A means Omar's father. B means Omar himself. And C means, which one? Which one, Shabbat? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this one, same one. Uh, طالع, it's okay. okay. Now, this is our student book. Page number 15. Read the first line. Let me share it with you. This one. Which exercise was stopped there before? Number this one, reading. Okay.
Yeah, this one. About Omar's, I will give you one minute. Two minutes for reading. Is it enough? Okay, Shabbat, is it enough or not? Okay. Let's answer the questions. As you see here. So now, who's there for my students? Number one. I'm talking about the absence. <coughs> okay. Okay, Shabbat. Number one, Ziyad Khalid. Mujud. Yes, here we have. Arusad Mujud, Raziyat. Yes, here. Muhammad Abdullah. Some Hamdul Dalikum Mujud for shots. Yeah, okay. Do you have any question? Any comment about today's lesson, Shabbat? 23 students here, two absent. Are you going to answer this, sir? Yes, sir. Allah is clear. Okay. Sir, I'm not listening to you. Ahmad Faisal Abusir, I see your name. And he already answered some questions. What? I know you're with us. حتى أنا ما سمعت اسمي. تمام. أوكي. Thanks a lot so much for participating with me in this lesson today. See you tomorrow, inshallah, at the same time. Sadaqullah, the little day of the hour. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, Shabbat. Here we go. يطلق خلاص استاذ اوكي نعم يا شباب يعطيك العافيه استاذ يعطيك العافيه استاذ ويا فرابرانس